Okay, I'm going to record on this computer, and now it's recording. Now it's recording, yes. And I'll put that up on Facebook. So, okay, let's see. Uh, this is Vance Stevens in Penang, Malaysia. That's and the way to say it, Penang. Penang. I thought it was Penang, okay. Penang, Penang. yeah, Penang, Malaysia. And uh, it's the uh, 2nd of October, uh, 2020. And I'm talking here with Hannah Chemis, a very respected collaborator that uh, somehow we sort of fell into working with each other um, recently. Um, you were doing a lot of Nile TESOL PD committee events, which I was honored to have helped you to stream. Some very, uh, very good presenters, very uh, impactful events, I thought. And so anyway, uh, Hana is putting on a, uh, a teacher's summit. She's called it the Teachers Learning Together Summit and asked me to host it. So uh, in so doing, she has set up a web page. Is, is it okay if I show the, uh, the, sure. yeah, the, the spreadsheet? Yeah. Because I'll show, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll show you how we work on it. So sure. I'll, I'll just go ahead and share that. I'll get it up here. Share screen, share screen. There it is, okay, share screen. And I want this thing right here. I believe this is gonna be a, it's not exactly the window I want, but it's the... Yeah, it's the go. third tab. Yeah, I can see it's it. Right okay, so there we go. That's, this, that's the, uh, what she wants to do is she wants to put a timestamp. So when you, when you click on it like that, it, uh, it goes to a, a, uh, a page like this, okay? So you got this page, right? You can see it's Friday, 9th of October, uh, 3 to 7 UTC. I just put them in UTC. And this is, um, I'm trying to time in Cairo here. Uh, Cairo, Cairo, okay. Yep, Cairo, there it is. Okay, it's 8.30 in Cairo. It starts at 8.30 on, uh, on Friday, the 9th of October, right? So that's three exactly. hours different from UTC. Okay, so this page has a modify event on it. So it's got a, what I did was you copy this uh, and in your spreadsheet, you simply paste it there. So I just put a link there. I just, uh, I'll show, I'll demonstrate in a moment because now we went one from nine to 940. That's the next one down. So if I go to, the page that I just set up, which is mostly set up, I want it 9 to 940, which is, uh, I could I could make it 9 to 940 in Cairo. It doesn't really matter. That's fine too. So um, I'm going to modify this event and I'll make it uh, 9 to 940 in Cairo. doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put, uh, put that there. So it's 9, it's 40 minutes long. Now this is LT Summit. Um, Okay. Keynote one, or maybe uh, just or event. Oh, is that keep your? It keep it simple. Yeah, keep Same, it simple. Yeah, because what I'm going to do each time is I'm going to change just the time. Okay. I see. And the time here, we have to now set it up for Cairo. Oops, we got Cairo there. Cairo. So Cairo, Egypt. That's the right Cairo, right? I think there's a Cairo right. in the United States. Did you ever read Huckleberry Finn? <laughs> Well, yeah, I just realized there is another Cairo and a hundred different Alexandrias. <laughs> yeah, and that's your hometown, Alexandria. Yeah, the, yeah. It, that's right. I was surprised, really. Okay, so all I need to do here is set the time. Is the new time? Oh, sorry, nine. Nine o'clock is the start time. Okay, nine o'clock is the start time, and this uh -huh. will go for forty minutes. Uh huh. And that should be it. So I can show the result. There's result. It's uh, nine o'clock EET. That's fifteen hundred my time. And just check the. It's a uh, uh, GMT is uh, seven o'clock GMT. Okay, so seven because it starts at nine, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so basically, you just take this uh, link and copy it. Go back to your page, click there, and link it. Let's see if I can get create a, a hyperlink. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A hyperlink like that. There you go. Paste the link there. So smart, so easy. So smart, so easy. That's right. So you just keep 
doing that. I'm happy to do it for you. Uh, but I can do it now. I mean, I just, you know, I realized it mm -hmm. and I, I now I'm pasting it in the emails. So I do it that, I mean, mm -hmm. this way for presenters. So they, uh, they are sure. Uh, okay. For example, I just customize it for presenters. If you're coming from France, uh, so I just customize it with France. If you're coming no, from, no real, say, need. no real need. Here is different. Here is different. I can see. I have to standardize it all. This one, Cairo, not, UTC. Yes, that's right. For just for the link for your program. Uh, this one for the program. Yes. Nine it starts at nine forty-five and it lasts for thirty minutes. Is that right? It's nine. 9.45 to 10.15, that's 30 minutes, okay. Is that correct? That's right. Okay, so basically, I can just get on a roll with these. I can just do these. Yeah, but like let's hold on for a reason because things keep changing. I said, like, the first block here mm -hmm. is yeah. uh, settled, mm -hmm. um, but maybe, uh, you know, there are tweaks five mm -hmm. minutes here or there, I mean, breaks and stuff, so... Mm -hmm. I don't want to just consume your effort here, but okay. I, I get the idea. But you asked me to show you how it's done, and that's how and I do it. And this is yeah. perfectly so, right. And, and it's so, so easy to change. If, you, if you've if got one you want to change, you just find its link, click on that, and you click on uh, modify the link. Where is that somewhere here? Oh, I, oh, I clicked on it. Oh, I clicked on the link. And, oh, it says create a new link. That's funny. Hang on a minute. Let me go back to um, to where I was. Click there. Click there. It says create. Oh, I like it. I didn't create it. I guess nine. Uh, we'll try the one before, just so I don't spoil my program here. So that one, it's nine to nine forty. Nine to nine forty. Yes, but yes, that's right. So in the the last one, I put a link for creating the event. So um, I'll just go back and fix that. So oh, that's really unusual. So that was from. Uh, 945 uh -huh. to 1015. Yeah, okay. I don't think I've actually changed that. I don't remember changing. One, five. So I guess I had just done that, but I didn't. Uh, so you just put, you just line these up 945. Oh, that's a date. Sorry. Uh, 945. So you need uh, 45 there. I could have chosen it. And this is a 30, a 30 minute session. And I guess what I had not Amazing. done is I hadn't clicked on show result to get that. Wow. So, so there we go. So now we got that and we can go back to this. Uh, so if, if you have to change something, you just uh, come in here and remove that link and put in, a, put in the right one. Got it. Uh, this website you're using has got more to it than that. I mean, it's multi-purpose mm -hmm. time and date, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I can use it for different purposes. If we can go to it, just mm -hmm. let me show you what sure. I mean. Okay. There are certain things that it could be useful for. I mean, I can, for example, um, you showed me here, like, you know, the Cairo time versus uh, UTC, for example. If I'm going to keep that like the standard for all, all right, Cairo versus, yeah. What happens is it, it shows me the rest of the world at the very bottom. <coughs> so I, don't, I really don't worry about the rest of the world. It already shows it down there. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. The re everybody knows. That no, you said France. So if someone is in uh, Paris, uh, they can just... Uh, so what is the URL or the link that takes me to that particular page in the website? That's what I'm asking right now. Right here. It's the one that I just... That we put because here. I search for time and date. No, no. Uh, if I want, if I don't have access to the spreadsheet and I want to go to the event and date or, you know, it's date and time website, right? Away. Oh, I, the date I and time website. Okay. Just its front yeah. page. Yeah. Okay. The, the home page of it is called. World clock or home. Yes. Home. home. Try home. Let's but I think actually, okay, there's home. That's just not, the not the one. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't world take clock? Yes, I That's think. the world clock that shows you different times and different places. Well, can we go, go to uh, get it from Google? Because that's what I normally do. I Google it first. Google what? And it lands, uh, Google that um, page called timeanddate.com. Ah, it, it was basically time, yeah, it's timeanddate.com. But it, it lands me on a different page, not this one. The page that really is functional with all these, uh, you know, 
interesting things. If I Google it, uh -huh. it takes okay. me time zones. I think it takes me to the tab that says time zones. Well, why don't you Google it and you can. Yep. I'll, uh, I'll can I possibly share? Yes, yes, you uh, can. No, I can't. No, you can. Yes, you can. I'm going to. It says host disabled attendee screen sharing. Don't worry for you, Hannah. <laughs> You've got Wasta. It's okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> no, I think so, just a few of us. Uh, here, screen. There oh, you go. Okay. Now you have a All question. right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. I'm on Google, but still haven't shared. Mm -hmm. So what I can do is now I do screen share to Google. You can see Google now, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And what I normally do is I go and search for time converter, the word time converter. Okay. And as you can see, uh, okay. time zone converter, time difference calculator. Uh -huh. This is the one really. Mm -hmm. So I go to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the one that shows. And it's a beautiful one for a reason. Here, what I do is, for example, I'm here in Cairo. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's my starting point. Okay. And I would like to check the time in, let's say, China. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Beijing, for example. Mm -hmm. okay. And now this is the time now, mm -hmm. almost. Yeah, it's 12.17 uh, in Cairo. So almost mm -hmm. the time here. Mm -hmm. If I would like to check now my time, of course, the date as well, because sometimes mm -hmm. times, they, I mean, daylight settings change and so They're on. They're about so to change ensure, in November. Yeah, that's why. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just to ensure I'm not uh, mistaken. So I check, for example, the 9th of October. Mm -hmm. And if I want to meet somebody, my time, let's say, uh, I would say, yeah, for example, 2 p.m., uh -huh. right? And I just, okay, check. What mm -hmm. happens is now I can see the time. Mm -hmm. It's 20 mm -hmm. minus 12. It means 8 p.m. China time. Yeah. Okay. And it gives me colors here. Okay. Now the colors mean a yellow here. It is not the perfect time mm -hmm. where people work, uh, but it's good. It's not red. The red zone means mm -hmm. it's okay. a very bad time when people are midnight or early morning. You can also so. set up a scheduler, you know, that will show you uh, work times for the selected cities. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. what I've been doing so far to mm -hmm. ensure that whenever I schedule a time slot, mm -hmm. okay, whatever it is, according to my time, Cairo time, and other people's time, that it's not uh, in some, mm -hmm. you know, time inconvenient, all right? And I check with them individually first mm -hmm. before I schedule, okay? Mm -hmm. Just to avoid that, that hassle of, you know, destroying it, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. <laughs> cutting it down into pieces. So that's one thing I do. And when I email people, I copy and paste that link in the email uh -huh. just to confirm. So they see, okay, what I see. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you say we can do other things here. You can uh, schedule. Uh, so I'm not really sure what yeah, I can uh, do here. Let me, I'll, I'll take the screen share. Can I do that? All right. Yes, please. Yeah, I don't think Should I stop? I will. I, I can stop you because I'm the Uber host. Yeah, you're the host. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, a, a east. Okay, so um, <laughs> let's see. I want to share. Uh, ooh, sharing my screen. I don't want to do that. Stop that share. I want to share just a web page. Okay. Um, yeah, work clock. Here we go. Um, I don't remember exactly where it is. But let's see. Uh, time time difference. That's what you were. You were probably on the time difference. Yes, probably. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, Although it looks different, but. Calendar. Let's see whether world clock, personal time, world time lookup. No, I don't think. It uh, says converter. I remember the, the URL above said mm -hmm. time and date dot com converter at the end. So There's again, a, a yeah, here world somewhere. clock slash. You want the? I'll I'll copy paste in the chat box. Okay. Um, I'm looking for a tool that lets you. Oh, International Meeting Planner. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that would be even better. So, yeah, you can pick, uh, let's say here's Georgetown, where I am, and you're in Cairo. Okay. And, uh, 
see, okay. Uh, it doesn't, I have to pick them out of here. Okay, Cairo. And um, let's see. It, many in China is on my time, so let's let's just say what about um, what about New York, something like that. Yep. So um, uh, New York, okay, the little Boston is close enough. The same time zone. Okay. So there we go. So we can uh, show a timetable. So this gives you. Uh, ah, times is uh, a meeting planner, so you can find the times that are most compatible for most of the people around the world. Yeah, well, or for the people you add, just the people you put in there. Yeah, the, the yeah, exactly. Yeah, the people I'm I'm working with, the presenters, maybe mm -hmm. a certain audience I'm targeting, and so on. Yes. Yeah. So I, so I the, use strictly the uh, the tool that I showed you. You know, this meeting planner. Uh, because that gives you just in one URL uh, the time of your event, or you, yeah, I put it to Cairo, but you could put it in UTC because I, I usually put it in UTC because that's the lingua franca. You know, that's uh, Cairo time doesn't mean a lot to people in. I do not understand time. the UTC uh, GMT. I just realized which uh, is like it's yeah. Well, actually, GMT is the time zone, and UTC is Universal Time Coordinator. Uh, it's not really a time zone. But it's the same. It's just completely equivalent. So uh, it's just a semantic difference. But uh, GMT and UTC in practice are exactly the same. Yeah, it's, it's always like, you know, a Fahrenheit versus degrees, uh, you know, inches versus centimeters and so on and so forth. It's always like that. <laughs> well, yeah, but, you know, a lot of people get confused because they say London time and London is sometimes GMT. Ah, that's a, yeah, BST. Sometimes it's GMT plus one. That's very really confusing. Uh, People miss meetings is. over this little uh, difference. I've realized, yeah, yeah. you're right. <laughs> so I think that answers that particular question okay. on how mm -hmm. to set up times and standardize and make everyone on the same page. Yeah. Did you have any other questions? That is perfect, I think. Uh, the other questions, uh, I don't think I asked any particular questions related to our uh, did you um, did Nelly write you about the uh, yeah the, she the did video? tag me mm -hmm. yeah it's perfect I mean okay. she wrote the steps mm -hmm. and now anyone can uh, just follow the steps one two three it's always about just you know getting the steps right I didn't know I about saw that it until you yeah. asked me that yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yes, I mean, it, it's been a challenge for some time because mm -hmm. it is time consuming to create, you know, one by one kind of certificate. Mm -hmm. It's, it's mm -hmm. uh, really awful. And I've been challenged with that. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah. I really needed to just acknowledge the efforts of like both presenters and attendees sure. because at attendees, whatever you are now, they, they keep asking, okay, is there mm -hmm. a certificate of attendance for this meeting? even if it's a webinar, mm -hmm. uh, if it's just like, you know, a, a discussion, whatever it is. So what we say, no, okay, no uh, certificates, mm -hmm. just to minimize the workload. It's all volunteer work anyways, and it's very hard to, people are busy to assign them that kind of work. Mm -hmm. So I thought um, that idea of, you know, creating spreadsheets, one for presenters, one for attendees, mm -hmm. uh, that automatically creates that a friend of mine really uh, mm -hmm. showed me how, mm -hmm. all right, but I simply just forgot it because I, I did not really try it out myself, you mm -hmm. know, right away. So now that it, there is a pressing need, uh, now we can see it. If you want the steps, they are already there on Facebook. Yes, okay. yes, they are. Uh, we're no, we're not talking about that. We're talking about oh, something else. Let's see, okay, we're talking about just so we are recording this. Oh, where is it? Upwards, I think. Yeah, okay. all these are November the 9th. new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how did I get to that one? November mm -hmm. six, it should be, isn't the ninth? Upwards. Ooh, October. <laughs> October, October, yes. Ah, uh, so okay, so it's way it. up. Yeah, it's way up. Yes. This oh, is yeah. That, oh, this, this is something else on the same day. I clicked on the ninth. The same day, same time. It's uh, it, actually, it's Liz England's. Uh, this is just the start of your conference. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, I see. Uh, okay. But anyway, basically, this is what I'm putting in for 
for years and this is i'm sorry I, I i i'm changing times and you know slots no, so uh, thank you for the effort you're you're making here i mean sure but i think i've changed several of these oh, items no here. problem so sorry <laughs> no problem no problem it's it's not a problem at all uh actually i just uh, copy them from the spreadsheet and then i put them into the notepad and then i knock out some of the things that i don't want yeah there in mine yeah. Lose, you have it there in your in your spread are you going to make the spreadsheet public so that people can go there? um at a certain point if it's doable why not i mean yeah it's a very good way to work uh you could put the links uh, as you the, the time links there of course I'm, I'm going to put them there here also because I'll yeah have i mean make... i see that done in uh, well um, uh, Nelly Deutsch does it all the time, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the beauty of it is like the presenters fill in the data, all right, which is like not the technical one, like the program book. They put That's in right. the title, she they put in their the bio. Mm -hmm. I love that kind of thing. Yeah. They put their own bio, uh, their yeah. own uh, session, uh, you know, abstract mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. What she does is she uh, just creates links for each session and pastes it next to the presenters. And it's a common document for everyone to see. Yeah, presenters that is a nice way to work. That's how we yeah. organize Electronic Village Online at uh, yeah. conferences and how we did it mm -hmm. online virtually for 2020 when, we, when the conference was canceled. Yeah. It's a great way to work because you can just tell people to sign up. And then when it's ready, you can make it public and then also That's right. in Nellie's she did something else which uh, uh, I think I might be doing it myself but anyway basically in hers in the virtual world's MOOC that she just put on she put a link for all the videos so each it, it had a zoom link which becomes uh -huh. a oh. she just put the link she replaced that with the link to the recording exactly because she streamed on on youtube live youtube live she, does it for her so okay she takes the yeah. link of youtube mm -hmm. and places it she mm -hmm. doesn't need to uh, to download the upload mm -hmm. what what youtube does is it streams the session and creates links for each and every one of them mm -hmm. so she copies and pastes the links in that you know sheet as well Mm -hmm. So you're going to be streaming live on YouTube? No. Oh. I've asked several people who have worked with the, you know, with both. Mm -hmm. Everyone says Facebook Live. I mean, I love Facebook Live. Uh, Facebook but, Live is normally easy. I don't know why I couldn't do it just now. I'll find out. But um, it could be something very little. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, with Ayat, Ayat told me that the other day it went crazy on her. Yeah, and it, she had to it jump to always YouTube temporary. flawlessly. I've been doing all of my streaming in Facebook Live. I don't know why. And maybe it's just something on the, maybe the page is broken at the moment. Could be, could be. I mean, they keep changing things around. So what I'm, okay, but still, whatever it is, it's easier, okay, and nicer for us. So I asked a couple of people and they all said, well, Facebook Live is better for yeah, us. Yeah, and be, It's going to be like, a little bit of work. Well, yeah, you'll, you'll, you said you were going to uh, have to edit the video. And if I want to cut it up. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's like, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes, yes, I mean, I have to do that. It has mm -hmm. to be one stretch and then cut it up. Mm -hmm. But it's just to avoid too many steps, confusing steps, mm -hmm. and to avoid any hassles, getting stuck, no matter what things happen. Mm -hmm. We've uh, learned that the hard way. So. Mm -hmm. Keeping it like, you know, one stream, it's easier, okay? okay? On Facebook and otherwise, that's the way I see it. I see Rob Howard is doing that on his 10-hour. Uh, uh, exactly. Uh, I mean, he talk. uses uh, YouTube Live. He does. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah. I don't know. There is something special about Facebook Live that really draws uh, us, like, you know? I don't know. It's worked for us more than anything. I like to have a recording on my computer uh -huh. and uh, then stream to Facebook. And so the two are the same. The recording on Facebook is the same, but it is, it, it, it's social. People can make comments there, which is really nice. And um, 
the recording of my computer I upload to YouTube. So I don't need two streams. And of course you can edit it there before it goes to YouTube if you want. <clears throat> so, um, uh, and the, the, the recordings are short. Um, that's the problem with the long session you're gonna have, I think your first one starts at eight, uh, eight in the morning your time, 8.30 and it goes to about 10 at night. 8.30 my time. Uh -huh. uh, but I think now with the breaks created, Mm -hmm. Okay, it creates blocks. So mm -hmm. I think yeah. I should switch off and then uh -huh. switch on yeah. in the break time, but okay. not when it's just like, you know, um, back to back yeah. or like five minute difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. It's, it's too many steps uh, mm -hmm. and too much of a hassle. Yeah. So maybe uh, in the break time. Okay. I make sure I can have this block switch mm -hmm. off back on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, that'll We're work. Just if you're happy with it, that's part of it. Uh, me, I, I really, I don't mind if it's me. I would make different uh, sessions. A lot of people do it that way, uh, they, and, and that way you get these many dis discrete recordings, and then you don't have to do any editing afterwards. And um, yeah, anyway, but if you're happy with the way you're doing it, don't change because of, you know somebody likes to do it differently. Don't do that. I mean, you, you want to be happy with it. You're not comfortable with what you're doing. <laughs> no, what I'm comfortable with. It's like, yeah, it's the way you um, have tried things because it, it's all about that. The, remember back in time when uh, we first started the interactive webinars like a year ago mm -hmm. and I was so clumsy about Zoom. Okay, I couldn't trust myself with it. Mm -hmm. That's why you kindly supported me mm -hmm. over the, the whole uh, series mm -hmm. and I felt safe because I don't really have to like juggle, uh, deal mm -hmm. with tech at the same time, uh, you know, uh, focus on the questions. It's very hard for me to do multitask, mm -hmm. especially, um, you know, it is a total new technology for me. Mm -hmm. So it made me feel reassured. And then later on when we were like asked to do Zoom, okay, and we were faced with the situation, okay, this is the only tool we're, we're going to have to use. Um, well, I kept like trying things out. Things were a little clums clumsy at the beginning. Mm. I was bombed twice, <laughs> mm. believe mm -hmm. it or not. I remember you and I think it was Heike, you had a, a comment session on yes. how to uh, uh, okay, defend yourself against mm -hmm. bombers. Yeah, because... So the term was recent. Mm -hmm. I read it and I just, you know, uh, yeah, it happened and, and you just uh, gave advice to us, okay, how to avoid it. Imagine, I, I couldn't really, ha you know, watch the video that you had because I was, you know, busy doing other things, but I said, okay, I'm going to do with this, okay, I'm going to watch it. And believe it or not, two days afterwards, just two days afterwards, I was using Zoom and I got bombed. Mm -hmm. It was just two days. And I kept saying, oh my God, I should have watched the video. I should have watched the video to know how to combat this. And then I learned, okay, the hard way. It's mm -hmm. all about learning the hard way. I've, over here, I, I just, uh, I can, oh, I, okay, I'm just, I, I should be, sh oh, I am sharing. I'm sharing my screen. I can see your screen now, yes. Okay, yeah, okay. So I, I can put this link in the text chat. Sorry, I'd forgotten how to share my screen. Um, anyway, basically, this is um, uh, how to configure your personal Zoom meeting session settings. It lists yeah. all of the settings. So mm -hmm. and it's got a table of contents. So you can you start with amazing team, document. profile, personal profile. Everything is there and it explains what everything has to be. And the reason I did all that was because I need to figure it out because I got bombed. So oh. <laughs> when you get bombed. Uh, all right, <laughs> that's where you, where <laughs> yeah, you learn. Exactly. Okay. I'm, oh, I can't find my text chat. No, why can't but I my, you have to click the button on your bar uh, on the taskbar. Okay. Once you do oh, the I screen, see. Uh, scroll up the taskbar. <laughs> yeah, Tons yeah, yeah. yeah. It ha it hides, it goes away. Yes. <sighs> okay. I wish so I knew more about that. I'm, <laughs> I'm just curious, how many times uh, did you get bombed? Just once with Nick uh, I mean, Peachy. Once? With Nick Peachy. Okay. So it was, oh, kind of, oh. it was a bad oh. one. 
Oh my God. <laughs> it, it was okay. And I still can't find my text chat. I Still? I mean, if you see the task bar where it says, um, uh, it says new chat. stop video. Yeah, you just press chat and it uh, pops okay. up. Here next to participants. Next, uh, yeah. Here it is. I just closed the share and it's right there. Okay. So yeah. This is, this yeah. Is the, uh, the, the link I just gave you. And then I also have a um, uh, PowerPoint that I prepared when Heike. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah. doc there where it explains everything, what every setting is and why you should set this one. And I, I researched that after getting bombed with Nick. And so from that, that's why I generally set up meetings with, uh, with a waiting list. Uh, and then if, in your case, I removed the waiting list because it's my personal room. I don't really expect people to be popping in here. They don't know a meeting is going on. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, put them in a waiting room and we admit them later. Yeah, and um, that can be a, a big hassle though, so, you know, when you have a lot of people, so. If we have more than one co-host, it mm -hmm. facilitates the job. Mm -hmm. So I've learned that because it, it's too much uh, overload over one person. But yeah. if you have like two or three other, and yeah. especially those who are presenting anyways, because mm. in a particular session, you're going to have like two, three, maybe four people involved in the discussion. Mm. And sometimes they like to share screen. So I give them from the very beginning co-hosting mm. privileges okay. and asking mm. them mm. to be very careful and wise about the use uh, and about admitting people. Mm. They need to go through names carefully. Yeah. Right? And, and so they make sure you turn them back the, to the waiting room. Because that's the in the back. You, you send them back uh, to the waiting room. So if you ah yeah, you mean uh, if them. I uh, to kick the the person out, uh, any saboteur or mm. something, somebody who's bombing the room. And yeah, the, there is and, a and way to send them out, out to the waiting just room and block it. Yeah, you can and just block your room. Mouse mm. over your name, send to waiting room, and then they're there. They can't. They're trapped. They're in a, a box. They can't get out. <laughs> And you can like a mouse. eject them. <laughs> and there's a setting in your Zoom settings that if you eject someone, they can't come back. So you have to enable that. So that if you do eject someone, they're not getting back. In the, they're not gonna, they can't come back under that user ID. Anyway. So that's a that, nice thing. But if you have two, one out and one in, this is a double whammy. And this yeah, is something least, that really You gotta remove happens. them bit by bit. That's what we did with Nick. These people were putting dirty pictures on our Shared. I hadn't started recording. It was right at the beginning. But um, nice, nice that it didn't really come out. But but point is, sometimes you don't even have the time to realize who's doing that. Mm -hmm. And that's what what really happened to me the first one or two minutes okay. because I was so much caught up with the discussion and mm -hmm. you know other things, and I I got I was taken by surprise. All right, so I did not even see the name uh -huh. the person who was doing that, but did the co-host did. Mm -hmm. And they managed to remove okay, that person. Okay, good. Yeah, and 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 then you you can mute everybody. Uh, you can mute all speakers. But he uh, got control of the sh all sharing. Okay. Uh, he, okay. Uh, and he had, and this is the breach I've been talking about. You are using a pro account, aren't you? Mm -hmm. That is a pro account. Yes. Now. Can you deactivate my camera? I mean, I'm not a co-host, am I? Well, I, I think so. Let me see. Uh, I just give me and I just like uh, remove or revolve privileges. Yep. Your camera has been deactivated. Okay. Oh, where'd you go? So you deactivated my camera. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. You can't start. No. I'm, okay. I have to... Start just a second. Okay. I, I asked, I'm. But... I'm here. Yeah. Okay. I'm here. It, did you the, open my camera or did I? You did. The option is ask to start camera. So I can request you to start your camera. I can't start your camera. I can stop your camera, but I can't start it. I mean, you, I have to ask you. And then So you what if, if, if I'm a saboteur, okay, mm -hmm. and this happens, I can activate my camera. And again, during the discussion, we let in people coming from the waiting room. The very first thing that happens is they are on camera and then we go and switch that off. Oh, you can mute all microphones and cameras when you set up the room. 
not the cameras. And that's what I'm saying now. Uh, All right. If we true. try it out, because I, we tried it like a, a hundred different times in every single way, mm -hmm. like the default would be people, no camera when they get in, in the settings. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, uh, these are the settings. Um, yeah, just uh, take all the privileges away from uh, a participant. Yeah, let's see. Um, yes, passwords, invitation, mute participants on entry. Okay, that's just the camera. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, maybe you could, I think you can, when you start the meeting, isn't there a way to? Uh, no way. Okay. What's going to happen is you would assume that, uh, okay, that cameras are mm -hmm. uh, sort of switched off. But the moment somebody gets into the room, mm -hmm. all right, and uh, they just show up on camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you have to switch it off. Then yeah. at any point in the session, you don't uh -huh. want people to appear on camera. Uh -huh. Just ask them, okay, without giving them any privileges, let's all join in okay open cameras everyone can mm -hmm. open cameras without me giving any kind of privilege mm -hmm. you see what i mean okay. so this is a, a breach here uh, mm -hmm. in uh, the pro account mm -hmm. and what we realized we have to have an add-on just to okay not activate but that and your camera your name is there so that name would also be in the in the list of people and if i turn off your camera then i don't think you can turn it back on so I can see you right there, and I'm a little concerned about you. So I'm going to stop your video. Oh, okay. So now you stop you, my you stop my video. You stop your video. Mm. You may think your video is on, but I've stopped it. Is there anything you can do? Let me see. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm trying. You can't. <laughs> Back to our important discussion that we were having before. But but so you, did, you did that. Uh, wait a minute. You mm -hmm. did it now because uh -huh. I'm inside the room. Mm -hmm. Did you do anything else? I simply uh, just uh, hit more and it's and stop the video. Uh -huh. So I'm going to ask you can now you... to start your video. Aha, uh -huh, but my question again. Mm -hmm. Can you do that uh, before fact, before me coming in? That's another thing. I was looking for that. And I, I really don't know off the top of my head. Uh, you said you'd start your video later. Yeah, I saw that, that message came up on my screen. But I think, it, it, I'm just curious if you can start a video. So even though you said you would do it later. Yes, okay, there it is. Okay, so you, so, but, but while I had muted your video, you were not able to start it. Okay, so that's um, a temporary solution. But I mean, mm -hmm. what if it happens fre frequently? Is there something oh. like mute all? Uh, uh, let's see. Let me, I'm, I'm looking at my table of contents. Let's mm -hmm. see. Join the mute all is convenient. They require passwords. For passwords, they say moving links to mute participants. No, give yourself a billion. Okay, um, well, maybe I just search my document for video. There are nine mentions of video. So if I, oh, video, video, there's no mentions of video. Video, okay, five, only five mentions of video. Post and participant set to off, okay. Post and video set to off on entry. Yes, that's it. When you schedule the meeting, you can, uh, Okay. Yes, you said that's video what off. I do. I mm -hmm. uh, that's what I do both. Mm -hmm. But how does it happen? Okay, well, okay. because so it's my set, settings. I see. They're set off by default, and then you have to switch them on. So, and when you switch it on, what you're saying is there's no way to keep someone from switching the video on. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you're right. This there. is the thing. This is mm -hmm. the thing. Yeah. I have like, I, I want it to be like two, only two people on mm -hmm. camera at this point in time. Mm -hmm. And then there is someone trickling in. They oh, well, you can, okay. You can just mute their video. You can. Yeah, and that's what, what we do. It's like stop mm -hmm. video, but it's like, what if we can do that? Like, you know, mm -hmm. from the very beginning. So we yeah. don't really have to worry mm -hmm. about it every and you, single you say time. You have a plugin that does that? 
Yes, it's ah. it's called an add-on. Uh -huh. It's the yeah. webinar feature. Uh -huh. Okay. What's, so it changes the pro account from a regular account where people do meetings and mm -hmm. you know simple webinars okay. to uh, an official webinar uh, thing where it gives us like more options. Mm -hmm. One of which none of the participants can switch on, a vo uh, I mean, audio or video mm -hmm. without permission. Uh, they can raise a hand and then, okay, given, be given a permission. Mm -hmm. It separates the chat from questions, Q and A. Mm -hmm. okay. So because again, I have a tro I mean, problem scrolling up and down the chat box. What's I'm the name unable. of the add-on? It's called webinar add-on. Webinar add-on. Okay. I'm just gonna do that. What we okay. are doing now, whatever it is, it's called under the meetings category. So whatever webinars we do with a pro is just a meeting, schedule a meeting. Mm -hmm. When we look at their options, there is like the extra feature of webinar. Okay, so the Zoom is forty dollars a month. Yeah, it's a, a lot more expensive than we think. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, so this mm -hmm. is the thing about okay. Uh, so it does have privileges, and again, the idea of chat versus um, you know uh, Q and A is nice to keep questions okay separate so they don't get lost in the stream of chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Because, because I'm unable to scroll up and down the chat box. Yeah. Have you noticed that? I mean, as a speaker. I find it really hard to monitor. It's, yeah, it's impossible to go up and, and down. <laughs> Facebook, I, I, it's, it needs somebody with a different device, somebody yeah. focused on the Facebook thing. I've, I've got a, well, you can't really see it, but I've, I've got another computer over here. I, I can. Uh, so, yeah, so it has to be. But again, I find uh, trouble focusing on one screen, being attentive to all what's going on and looking at a different screen. Mm -hmm. But it's fine for now. Mm -hmm. um, and I, oh, I remember asking you a, another question that you may want to just uh, consider for later. Okay. It's the timer. Oh, the subtle timer. timer. Now I remember a subtle way to put a timer. It doesn't take up the screen, but it's visible to both. Uh -huh. Um, okay, the presenters, that's number one. Uh, Zoom. Uh, the moderators, number two, and of course the How audience. to play a countdown timer in Zoom? Are we, are yeah. We, okay. Uh, they say put it as a virtual background or whatever, but uh, it didn't okay. work for me very well. Mm, okay. I, I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to create one that looks nice and subtle. Uh, oh, yeah, you start yeah, you start one and share the screen with the countdown. Timer. Yeah, screen share. But uh, so, yeah, it didn't work very well for me. I wanted mm -hmm. less obvious if possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, either oh, in the well. virtual background or mm -hmm. okay. uh, screen share. Virtual. Either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, anyways, we'll figure it out. We'll yeah, that's a good question. Out. Okay. Um, well, I'm, maybe we can bring it up in webheads and. Uh, Please. <laughs> so I, I got Rob Howard to allow me to do my talk at noon yeah. on Sunday, noon. GMT, Excellent. Which is three o'clock, so, I think, in your time. Yeah, exactly. But it's the yeah. webheads time. So uh, I plan to, and it's kind of about webheads anyway, so I plan to do that. And then I don't know what we'll do from there. I, I thought I might have two computers going and do a webhead Zoom and share the my presentation into the web it's i'm not really sure what i want to do anyway but it's um it's for teachers day which is actually the fifth on um, monday it's the fifth of october i'm curious how many teachers day we got uh, around the world it's like every uh, like you know a couple of months it feels like it's a teacher's day somewhere mm -hmm. i don't know mm -hmm. it's an international occasion but i'm not sure is it once a year or is it more than once? Well, this one is, uh, let's see, this is a, a teacher's day, let's see. It's, uh, here's, here's a Wikipedia entry about it. So um, this kind of acts like it, there's just one. Anyway. Yeah, it's, someone somewhere is celebrating a teacher's day mm -hmm. at a certain mm -hmm. point in time. They're mm -hmm. trying to make it, a, you know, 
a national day or something mm -hmm. every yeah. country but this is an international teachers day happy teachers day okay well you too <laughs> it can be any day i suppose anyway I okay guess. so is, we've been going for almost an hour and i like to have reasonably sized videos so do we have anything else to discuss i guess not so far so good okay and i and i'm i'm so grateful that you taught me this um time and date feature oh, i'm learning from you I wanna be very helpful We're learning together it's the whole point. it is yeah yes it is it's always been thank okay. you very well, much it's, it's great working with you and i appreciate that you're obviously the same mindset we're not really doing this for money we're doing this for to help other teachers to come together and learn things i'm sure you're doing the main reason you're doing this is because you learn that's uh I've always learned together. It's somehow, it's like, you know, you learn something, you teach it. That's been uh, my life as a teacher. Oh, well, and I love you, that. The best way to learn is to teach, right? I mean, exactly. It's yeah. true. It's true. Okay. Thank you. Well, anyway, all right. So um, uh, we're, uh, maybe I'll see you on Sunday. That's, that's the web heads. Yeah. Up. Yeah. I just hope I'm, I can, like, I would say, manage my energy levels. So I can just like manage to follow it up. It's a 10 to 10, according to Rob Howard. I'm not, be, I'm not physically able to do that. Okay. Is that yours? You're, you're speaking at 10 to Mine, 10? I think I asked him to have it around. I think yours is earlier. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got it here. Mm -hmm. here is you. it around oh, you're, you're 12? Uh, 12, 12 to 7. 7. 12 to 7 is at UTC, right? Or 12, what? 12 to 7 is... See, it's his time. So for you, it would be one. Poland time. One o'clock. It's. Uh, Are you Poland. sure? He, his Poland. Time. We are on the same time zone. I don't think so. If you're three hours ahead, are you? Three? Oh, you're two hours ahead. Yeah. Right. You're two hours ahead. Yeah. yeah. Cairo and Poland. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're same, same time zone. Yeah. So you're, same you're time at zone. noon. Just after. Exactly. Noon. That's okay. a good time slot. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, well, all right, we'll, we'll try to- uh, We'll, we'll be there. Years. We'll be there celebrating Teacher's Day. So 12 o'clock is six hours different. That's six o'clock my time. It's the same time we met just now, isn't it? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. Well, I'll try to, I'll try to get there. And, yes, sure. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I hope, I'm going to blend all this into the WebEdge thing, uh, including sure. my talk. By the way, is there anything particular they do on a Teacher's Day celebration? Any sort of food, any sort of dress? Do people dress up in a certain way? Do any kind of cookies or so? I mean, what's the occasion of Teacher's Day? What do they do? I have no do idea. They? You'd have to look in that Wikipedia article. I, I wasn't really, yeah, really I think so. aware of it. I mean, there must be some sort of special celebration you know, customs and traditions related. I'm not familiar with that, but let's do something about that. Well, we'll meet I'll check it out. We'll talk about it and, uh, and see, if, see uh, how we can celebrate it, not just by presenting, but, you know, that's, that's having these, a little bit of fun. These times right here. And I know that I've got the 1400 slot. That's 1400 in Poland, mm -hmm. that's UTC. So he's giving me that slot to move some things around as well. But the nice. our WebEd's event actually takes place during these events. Patricia uh, Mushtaq Hussein and uh, Preyan Nelidoich, Isabel, Rachel. So those, just those events. One, two, three, four, five, six, five events. So wow, we could, um, we could uh, maybe we'll just be monitoring this most of the day who knows yeah that would be great that would be just great okay thank you anyway, very much nice to talk to you Anything same else? here always you. nice you got WhatsApp, thank you very much facebook email of course Definitely. email is better for me <laughs> <laughs> i've realized <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah un unless i s officially send that over email takes a little bit of time i know <laughs> well i i said it depends on where you live if you live in your mobile phone then i live in my mobile next phone step, <laughs> isn't it? So for me, me i mean i do all the things that i just showed you in the screen shares all this has to be done on computer and so this is really where i live i live on the computer so if i get information I in facebook it means that of course i've got facebook on my computer so sometimes i can transfer things over but um 
anyway, well, we work together. You know, everyone has to meet. We have to meet each other in each other's playgrounds. Yeah, sure we do. Sure we do. Thank you very much for all. Okay. All right. Bye bye. And see you. Bye. See you later. Bye. Well, I'm gonna turn off the recording. Stop.